Hello, I have a, a 2008 GMC Acadia and I'm having an issue with thermostat housing. Leaks right in this area where this tube is pressed into the housing itself. And it's had a slow leak for, I don't know, a, a number of years. So I, I bought a housing to replace it. And I bought this one from Amazon and it was like 50 bucks or so. And if you hold it up, the two are nearly identical. Um, everything for the most part looks the same. However, there are two major issues with the non-AC Delco part that, that I've found. One is on the bottom here, you have this, where this mounts, this bra bracket, brace, whatever, mounts to the front head. This does not line up. It does not line up when you, the housing itself, shoot. The housing itself lines up you know, with, with the thermostat. However, when you put this on the car, this bolt does not line up. This bracket does not line up with the bolt hole. Um, so that's an issue. The other bigger issue that I found out first was if you look straight down, you know, kind of at a, you know, you look in, in line with, with how the housing is, this ho this pipe here, and actually the camera is distorting it, but it's actually straight in line with the housing. So when this goes on to the block, this back here is actually really close to the head. And what's gonna happen is when you put your hose on here, it's gonna touch the head and the head's gonna melt it and then you're gonna get a leak. Now, this one, let's see if I can get it to focus. You could see that this one is epoxied in there. So you can't spin this. And of course, with it being pressed in, um, I don't think you want to spin that anyway because it's going to cause a leak. It's, it's pressed in and that's how it's keeping it from leaking, you know, the, the friction or whatever. If you look at the original, the original part, immediately you can look down at this and you can see how this one is angled away. This one here... I think it's a little bit more angled on the factory part, but it doesn't really matter as much on this one because it's far enough away from the block or the head or touching anything else that, that it's gonna cause a problem. This one I bought off of Amazon and it was about 50 bucks. And like I said, it, it looks good. Uh, everything for the most part looks like it'll line up. These three bolts here will line up. The housing lines up, thermostat, everything there lines up properly. With the exception of this pipe and this bracket. So I went to the Chevy dealer because I couldn't find anywhere locally that had this. Um, I could have ordered it, but I kind of wanted to get it as soon as possible. So I can get this, my wife's car back up and running. This is the AC Delco replacement uh, from, from the dealer. So you can see, you look down and you have this angle here. So if you look at the two, um, let me kind of put those. You can see the one on the right side, which is the AC Delco, is angled significantly more than this one, which... I'm not even sure the brand of it. I'd have to look it up. I'll put it in the link. I'll put a link. Well, I'll put the name. I don't, I don't want to put a link because I don't want people to buy it. Because uh, it, it's not going to fit right. And you can see. If you put those two. Right next to each other. You can see how the brackets actually don't line up the same. This one on the right 
is identical to the original one that was on the vehicle. Whereas this one is an aftermarket. Um, don't get the aftermarket, spend a couple extra dollars. And well, actually it's twice the price. Um, just do it right the first time and don't fool around with the aftermarket one from Amazon or anywhere else. There's a doorman or doorman, doorman, whatever. I don't know if that one lines up properly or not. It wasn't worth my time to buy it and fool around with it to see if it would fit. I just ordered the AC Delco or bought the AC Delco one straight from the dealer. And this is the right one. Um, hopefully this saves somebody some time and money. I paid $104 for this one. Or no, $100. Well, $4 doesn't make a difference. Anyway. This one was about $100. The one I bought on Amazon was $50. Um, luckily, I can return the one from Amazon. But had I known this from the beginning, I would have just bought the one from the dealer. Now, you can get this one from AC Delco. You can get it from GM Parts Direct. Or you can actually get the AC Delco, I believe, from Amazon, from this part number. And let's see if the part numbers are the same. It might not be a part number. It might be 175.2. It, it might have been a, a part that was changed over a period of time. Um, but this is what shows up from either GM Parts Direct or if you have them look it up at the dealer. Whereas the, the one from Amazon just is not correct. It just doesn't fit. I don't know if it fits any other model years. This is an 08. I don't think there was much difference in terms of the engine uh, or the cooling system for the years that they had this body style Acadia. Um, but get the AC Delco and you shouldn't have any problems. Obviously, if you came across this video, you probably had the same issue that I have or you're looking to replace this thermostat housing um, that's it thanks for watching if you have any questions uh leave a comment